AI insights help marketing teams get more value out of their data by enabling them to engage with their customers based on what they're likely to do in the future, not just on what they've done in the past. In this use case, we'll take a look at how an e-commerce brand can leverage MParticle to collect high-quality user and behavioral data, enrich this data with AI-driven insights, and use these intelligent attributes to power personalization across the data stack. Let's get started. This is Higgs Mart, an e-commerce store that sells clothing items and accessories. The Higgs Mart marketing team wants to understand their customers' behavior and preferences more deeply so they can maximize the ROI on their engagement campaigns, specifically their customer retargeting efforts. Higgs Mart has adopted MParticle so they can consistently collect high-quality, first-party data on their users across all channels and combine cross-channel data into unified customer profiles. Here, we see behavioral events flowing from the Higgs Mart web user interface into the MParticle live stream in real time. Let's open the user activity view in the MParticle UI to look at the profile of a Higgs Mart customer. We'll use an email address to look up a certain Scranton-based paper salesman named Dwight. Here we can see Dwight's user attributes. And if we navigate to the events tab, we can examine behaviors this user has taken on our e-commerce site, like view product detail, add to cart, and checkout events. We can already do a lot with this customer profile by forwarding it to any one of MParticle's 300 plus integration partners. To provide just a few examples, we can forward Dwight's profile to Braze and send him an email reminding him to purchase what he left in his cart, or a push notification telling him that a certain product is on sale when he's in the vicinity of one of our brick and mortar locations. But what if we want to be even smarter with how we engage this customer? What if we want to base our communication not on what he's already done, but what he's likely to do in the future? This is where the power of AI and predictive insights can have a massive impact on your engagement strategy and maximize the ROI of all of your marketing and product initiatives. In the next step, we'll use MParticle's AI platform Cortex to turn our historical data into predictive insights about behaviors that our customers are likely to take and add intelligent attributes to our user profiles that we can use across our entire data stack. In the Cortex UI, Navigate to the Data tab in the top navigation bar and select Data Sources on the left-hand side. Click the Add a Data Source button, select MParticle, and copy the API key. Back in MParticle, navigate to the Integrations directory and select Vidora. Click Add Vidora to Setup and select both Feed and Event Integration Types. Click Configure and name the configuration Vidora Input. Now click Save and Next Configuration on this and the following screen. Name the output configuration Vidora Output. Enter the API key you copied from the Cortex UI, then click Save and Close. Now we'll establish a connection between our web app input and Cortex. In the MParticle UI, navigate to Connections in the left-hand menu and choose your web app as the input for a new connection. Then click Connect Output Select the Vidora default group and click Vidora output from the drop down menu. Be sure to set the connection status to active, then finally select Add Connection. Now that this connection is established, we'll begin actively streaming data from MParticle to Cortex in real time, including behavioral events and user attribute information that we can use to create customer predictions and decisions within Cortex. Let's see what that looks like. Over in the Cortex UI, we'll select Pipelines in the top navigation then click Create a New Pipeline. Cortex gives us the ability to create six different pipelines for generating different types of predictive attributes. While each pipeline type is optimized for a specific use case, they all generate intelligent attributes about our users, which will be sent back to MParticle as attributes on the customer profile. In this use case, we want to predict the likelihood that our users will purchase a certain item in the future. So we'll use the Future Events pipeline type. Here we see a catalog of all our customer data that MParticle has forwarded to Cortex. We can choose from this data catalog to select the future action we'd like to predict. In this case, we'll select Purchase and set the frequency to one or more times. Here, we'll set the category equal to Shoes and specify a seven-day window of time for this action to take place. Cortex lets you get very granular with your predictions by applying and combining multiple conditions that are relevant to your use case. This allows you to power extremely precise campaigns and maximize the efficiency of your marketing spend. At this step, we can enable an ongoing cadence of updates to ensure that our intelligent attributes are based on the most recently generated behavioral data. Here, we're saying that we want to retrain our model and sync new attributes with our user profiles in MParticle every Wednesday. 
Now, we'll give our pipeline a name, review our details to make sure everything looks good, then create our pipeline. Now the machine learning magic is underway as Cortex is training our model and generating predictive insights. Now our insights have been generated and we can actually deploy our pipeline to MParticle. As we see, we can deploy our pipeline in two separate ways. One option allows us to create a decision project, which we would select if we wanted to leverage Cortex to translate our pipeline results into optimized business decisions. In this case, however, we'll just select export predictions to send our intelligent attributes directly back to MParticle. In this screen, we'll specify the users for which we want to send intelligent attributes back to MParticle. We'll say we want to export users whose conversion likelihood falls within a percentile range of 0 to 100. In other words, we will export all of our users. Here, we'll indicate that we want to forward these predictions to MParticle rather than downloading them directly. And finally, we'll say we want to forward both conversion probability and percentile as our intelligent attributes. Now, let's go back and look at Dwight Schrute's user profile on MParticle. In addition to the user attributes we were seeing before, we can now view the intelligent attributes we forwarded from Cortex. We're no longer limited to basing our marketing activities on what Dwight or any other one of our users has already done. Now, we're empowered to interact with our users based on what they're likely to do in the future. The fact that these attributes live in our CDP, rather than in a data warehouse or a single tool for activation, is to our great advantage. It means our marketers can be much more versatile and creative with how they leverage these insights. And they don't have to rely on data engineers to do so. They could use them directly in MParticle's orchestration tools like audiences or journeys, and they can forward them to over 300 integration partners where they can use the insights to power personalized messaging and trigger campaigns. One activation tool where we can make particularly good use of our new intelligent attributes is Braze, since we can use this platform to power a wide range of customer experiences based on these insights. To do this, we'll need to establish Braze as an output to which we can send data from MParticle. In the MParticle UI, search for Braze in the integrations directory and click Setup. Select the Event Output option and click Configure. Give your configuration a name and add your Braze app's API key, which is available in your Braze dashboard. In the connection screen, we'll create a new connection using the Vidora feed as the input and the Braze event output as the output. After setting up and activating a feed integration with Braze, we can put our new intelligent attributes to work in an engagement campaign. Select Campaigns on the left-hand side of the Braze dashboard. Click Create Campaign and select Email Campaign. We'll give our email campaign the name Likely Shoe Purchasers. Here, let's skip ahead to the targeting step, where we'll see how we can leverage our intelligent attributes to target likely purchasers. We'll open the drop-down menu to view our targeting filters, then select Custom Attributes. Here we'll see our intelligent attributes listed as options for filtering the recipients of this email. We'll select the likely to purchase score attribute and use this to target users who have a greater than 80% chance of purchasing shoes. If we wanted to, we can also use Liquid, Braze's templating language, that allows us to build conditional logic into our personalization campaigns to send different messages to different users based on their intelligent attribute scores. In this case, we'll be sending shoe-specific offers to customers with a high likelihood of purchasing shoes and a more generic offer to customers with lower purchasing likelihood. In this use case, we saw how MParticle empowers growth teams to bring the power of AI into the marketing stack themselves without relying on data scientists. But what we saw here is just one example of what you can accomplish with MParticle and Cortex. With a flexible AI solution living at the heart of your data infrastructure, the possibilities for unlocking new avenues for personalization and maximizing ROI are endless. Thanks for watching, and check the links below for other resources to help you transform your customer data with AI.